It's the 2020 Orlando Flag Football World Championship powered by SeaWorld. Greetings everybody, I'm James Bates and teams from all over the world, over 600 teams to be exact, have all come to the Sunshine State for some high flying flag football fun here this weekend in Orlando. Prizes of over $30,000 on the line. In the next hour, we'll see five on five, and of course, the eight on eight co-ed. Let's get it started right now. The 2020 Flag Football World Championships are brought to you by SeaWorld Orlando and by Wilson Football, the perfect backyard football. And it's about time to kick that Wilson football off and get it started here in Orlando. We've got a big time Sunshine State matchup for this five on five men's national championship. Don't reap out of Miami and wet and dirty from Jacksonville. And joining us, the co-founder of the FFWCT, Chuck Davis. Chuck, glad to have you here. Pleasure to be here. We've got two of the best teams in the entire world about to compete. It's great football. And they just so happen to be from the same state, right here where we're playing, meeting right in about in the middle, Miami and Jacksonville, and in the middle of the state is Orlando. Perfect meeting place, great weather, teams are very familiar with each other, so it should be great. Well, you got the, the coin toss, one by Wet and Dirty, and that means Mark Musgrove will snap it back. Great catch by Myron Donaldson there. As you notice, the ref's saying no run zone. No run zone means obviously the quarterback cannot run. Right, no run zone, five yards before midfield and before the goal line, correct? Correct. All right, flag comes down, but not after Mark Musgrove looks to move the ball forward. You'll notice how vocal Mike Adams will be. He'll be vocal the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fun one to watch. Mike Adams, the quarterback for the guys from Duval. Speaking of Duval, one of Duval's finest, the big man galloping in, Jamie Harper draws first blood. Jamie Harper's size is deceiving. He's huge, but he's extremely nimble. A running back at Trinity Christian here at the high school in Jacksonville. Great running back in college as well for the Clemson Tigers. And here comes the extra point try now. You see them run in motion just like a normal football, trying to figure out if they're in man or zone. Great defense. And Alex Sanchez, nice defense there, reading the eyes of Adams. Yeah, Mike tried to move the corner off his spot, trying to get a hold there, wasn't able to complete it. And don't read, lost a great friend in Alex Sanchez. Yeah, they're playing in his honor at this point. <laughs> oh, magic man, Kevin Mujica. You see some of the wet and dirty players complaining about the jump in flag football. You're not allowed to jump or leave your feet or dive, but jumping straight forward, you're allowed to do. So there's a gray area there. Here's our first look at Marquise McRae. Promises to be busy here this afternoon. Yeah, he might be one of the top five fastest players in the whole tournament. He's lightning. Well, they all got Homer Simpson on their shirts, and <laughs> Marquise has got Simpson's hair. Great. Sice Bob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, left all alone and just too easy. Peter Delgado. Ooh, wide open. That's great. Great football, way to get him off his smart and uh, complete the pass. Hardest catch is the one you make by yourself. <laughs> well, Willie Perez, the quarterback out of Hialeah down there on the bottom, Miami, Florida, finding his man, new guy 
throwing the pill right here. It's Rudy Gonzalez to his center, George Rodriguez. So don't reap answers and converts the extra points to a seven to six early. Great thing about flag, you can be successful as long as you know what you're doing. And these guys are pros. Yeah, from under center, Mike Adams certainly knows what he's doing. He knows who to go to, too, complete. Over to Myron. Yeah, Myron's gonna be his hot target. He likes to get going, get Myron going. They have great chemistry, and they always have. Myron Donaldson playing for the Jacksonville team and a Jacksonville area product from Mandarin High School. Adams goes deep and just a little bit too long, looking for Nick Tyson streaking down the right sideline. It's a great ball, just wasn't able to put it in. It's going deep again. Explain to us really quick here, Chuck, the, the rusher has to go straight for that flag, correct? Correct, you can't try to bat the ball down, you can't try to go for his arm, you can only go for his flags. You can jump up, maybe tip it, but no contact. All right, turnover on downs, and from the five, don't reap. And Mojica. You're gonna see the little guys hopping around a lot. They're pretty quick. If you can make a guy miss your center of gravity, you can, you can go all the way pretty quickly. So Hills, Willie Perez, little sidearm sling, a little razzle dazzle after the catch from Coco Sanchez, the pitch to Marquise McRae. And don't read, moving here early in the first half. Manta is our unique flying roller coaster here at SeaWorld Orlando. In fact, it is the only flying roller coaster in all of Florida. You look face down to the ground as you soar through four exciting intense inversions, including our signature wing dip element that includes a water splash. here in Orlando for the 2020 Flag Football World Championships. All kinds of goodies for fans of all ages. And speaking of goodies, when are we gonna go hit that Manta? That looks fun. <laughs> we definitely need to go ride, it was, it was ecstatic. Oh man. All right, back to the action. It's Don't Reap with the lead and the ball. That was going up top. Donovan Edwards. They're saying is out of bounds. Nice job there on the coverage. Dallas Julian not giving him very much of a spot. It looks to be a, a good call as well. Donovan Evers is gonna be a problem, I can feel it. Big bodies, a good leaper as well. Underneath, go-to man McCray, he's slippery and big Jamie Harper banged up a little bit. Yeah, uh -oh. kinda ran into the little guy, he's gonna get there. <laughs> Watch out for Donovan. He's, he's, a, he's a problem in the red zone. A little miscommunication back of the end zone and wind it up. Peter Delgado, a couple great big play. catches early. Great play. Peter's a great utility player. Donovan's going to take away a lot of the key defense on him, and he's going to be open a lot. And he's just as dangerous, just not as big. Rudy Gonzalez back in, the veteran quarterback. There you go. Yes. <laughs> there you go. 
Well, he's in that time. That's right. That one does count to Donovan Edwards. One handed, too. Look at his reach. Man, incredible. Great catch. And great job by Rudy staying in there strong. Flag comes down, but just after the ball is released, and just like that, after wet and dirty scoring first, don't reap with 14 quick points. Yeah, they're gonna move the ball pretty quick. Uh, first half, team's gotta really get after it, make sure they get the position going in the second half. So can Adams and wet and dirty answer here. A little misdirection there, great play, great call. Quick strike over to Mark Musgrove. Let's take another look at it. Musgrove from Fletcher High School, the tree surgeon. A Fletcher Senator in high school, almost up near midfield. A little bit of incidental contact, but hey, it's still football, non-contact or not. Yeah, you, <laughs> you gotta keep, <laughs> keep him from banging a little bit. We'll have that in our next show. Quick pitch to TD. Great play. As you see, you just tried to get across the line. You don't want to get too far so you can maximize the amount of plays you get over midfield. Well, and you can't run it from there, but that's the next best thing. So right. keeping it moving. One of this the is three essentially Musgroves. the version of a no huddle uh, uh, what you see these guys running right now. Quick plays, a lot of misdirection. Wait to see him on the back of the end zone here. Hand off to Musgrove and a little Tim Tebow, if you will, a jump pass. Great, great play, great play. Myron Donaldson, the recipient, coming across the middle. Both teams. Going into that play coming up. Great job. Yes. Great job. Excellent concentration. You're going to see a lot of misdirection. The misdirection is really going to mess the defense up. Uh, they can't they can't alter the rush lines, which means you can't impede the rusher. So they got to go around a guy. And and once again, it. it's That's misdirection down. for the conversion, and it's 14 13. Flag football is mostly technique. You don't have to be big and super strong or fast. If you have great technique, you can win. Now take us to halftime, 14-13. Don't reap on top. The Journey to Atlantis is our original roller coaster here at SeaWorld Orlando. Combines the best of a roller coaster, a dark ride, and a water ride all in one. Riders start by going through a dark ride portion before a splashdown drop, followed by even more dark ride and a surprise indoor drop and a final splashdown. It's a great way to cool off during the summer and get wet. SeaWorld Orlando is one of the largest rescue facilities in the U.S. We've rescued over 36,000 animals since our conception in 1979. And not just SeaWorld Orlando, but SeaWorld Texas, SeaWorld California, all of us working together 
for one goal. One of the coolest facts that people don't know about SeaWorld is 90% of all the animals who come in our door go back out to their natural environment. All right, well, the natural environment for these flag football players this weekend is right here in Orlando as well. Don't reap and wet and dirty. We're about to get things going here in this second half on the five on five non-contact world championship. Great play, quick passes. You're gonna see a lot of these. They gotta really be cognizant of how they manage the time in the second half. There's Mahika on the catch. Quick snap one more time to Perez and Mojica one more time. Don't sleep combined with the Dade County Reapers, and so that's why you've got don't reap for the team name. Pretty creative, I like it. right? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna see a lot more of these quick passes. They're gonna they're safe, they're quick, and Willie's got a great arm to deliver the ball really quick. So it's, it's gonna be a really hard thing to stop. Well, it makes these tacklers Extra important coming up, trying to make this stop. And there's the little pitch, interesting. They go to the same guy three times, try to draw everybody in, and defense is there waiting them. Yep, dump it and kick it back up. Gonzalez, your quarterback. There you go, I think he was in. I think he was in, I think that's a touchdown. I think Donovan got in. Working the line with Donovan Edwards. Look at him go up and yeah. He's in, look. <laughs> That's great concentration. Great body control. That's tough stuff. There you go. Good call. Fired up for Edwards and they should be. It's Perfect. 20 to 13. Outstanding. Great play. Ah. Uh, Gonzalez, the leader of this team, upset the mishandled snap from George Rodriguez, so nothing after the touchdown. There's TD down the right side of the field. Big smile as he turns around. Boy, and TD can go for a big man. He can really run. He's, he's pretty light on his feet. Again, you'll still notice quick, short passes. They're not going to take too many risks. There's Musgrove one more time. Back inside. And Nick Tyson. We'll get a fresh set of downs for wet and dirty. Triplets, the Musgrove brothers. You've got Chad, Joe, and Mark. How about that? <laughs> They're out here. Whole family affair. Adam stands in there strong. Nick Tyson tries to make something happen. He wasn't going to put a foot down. Tips it back to Myron Donaldson, or tries to anyway. Yeah, I would look for him to target Myron here pretty soon. He's, he's probably their best weapon. Well, he looked the way of Myron Donaldson, but not on the same page. And lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Yeah, that could have cost him. He cannot have any mistakes in this game. Adam's going up. Look at him. <laughs> There's big man going oh, deep going here. Deep. Too far. Boy, the big veteran quarterback working hard back there. There's the pressure coming from Kevin Nunez. A little bit of a flop, but hey, you gotta milk it. <laughs> I think it worked. Yeah. That ball hits the ground, it's dead. Ball hits the ground, it's dead at any point. There are no fumbles in flag football. It's a player's safety concern. Way to pull a flag. It doesn't seem important or hard, but pulling flags is incredibly hard. Got to have really good hand-eye coordination. Absolutely, and not allowed to wear pockets or anything hanging off those shorts to yeah, make sure that's again. all they there got. Go. There's a touchdown for Nick Tyson. Maybe go ahead and try to tie this up. Great play. Great play. <laughs> Mike Adams, the quarterback, goes in there and gets involved in the scoring and to tie it up at 20. Well, we've got a good one here in the five on five men's championship. Donovan Edwards again. 
Well, we've seen him working those lines down the, in the red zone, and here he is across the middle to move the ball forward. You can't forget about Marquise. He's still going to be a problem. He's not as tall, but he's very dangerous. I would look for him to get the ball here soon. Oh, there he goes. There he goes, McRae from Mojica. And just short of that midfield marker. Remember, they can't run right here, trying to cross the midfield line, and they do is. that and a whole lot more. Donovan Edwards again. He's, he's becoming a big target in this game, as I thought he would be. They have so many weapons. He's good. That's <laughs> You got his teammate McCray playing the electric guitar. Look at the catch in traffic. Use his body, shield the ball, got in the end zone anyway. Great play. Boy, he's done it from on the edge and in the middle. The MVP so far anyway, and off the mark here is a attempt to go for two. Just missed. Wet and dirty's got to be big here. 26 to 20, Musgrove with the catch from Mike Adams, wet and dirty, trying to go down and tie it up or take the lead. Notice the wind kicked up here. We gotta make sure these guys watch the ball. They're gonna be running in a hurry up here. They really gotta be on the ball. Cannot make a mistake, good catch. Nunez with the pressure, but not in time as Musgrove. Musgrove's been big. The center will snap the ball. And first You'll down. notice the center being very important to these guys. They're easy dump off. It's almost like having your tight end or your running back come out of the backfield. Big play. That's it. Ball game. Wow. <laughs> in the five-on-five non-contact men. Don't breathe. Amazing. Great play on defense, ensuring the victory. Great way to bat it down. Great play. Great job by Delgado. That's a big man in front of him. But he fought and wanted it more and knocks it to the turf. And the guys from the 305 are happy. <laughs> Look at these guys, celebrating, way to play hard. It's only their second season, and they're already world champs. It's impressive. All right, we're here. Congratulations to Don't Reap, the five-on-five non-contact men's pro champion here at the Orlando World Championships. Talk to the quarterbacks, Rudy. Start with you. You're pretty emotional after that one. Tell us how it feels. It feels awesome. I've been playing for years. I've never won a national championship. This is a great feeling. Great feeling. Great feeling. Yes, this is an awesome feeling. It seems like a very tight team. You guys uh, took down a really good team from Jacksonville. That's in it every single year. You won it not only the state championship but the national championship as well, Willie. You don't do it. You don't do it with just one guy. You do it with this team and. Y'all ballers, man. Y'all ballers. Y'all ballers. Right? Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're just getting started here in Orlando. When we come back, it's the 8 on 8 Co ed Pro. It's Hall of Fame and Beauties and the Beast. Stay right there.
SeaWorld's operation for our zoological teams, even with our doors shut, really don't change. We have to give the utmost quality of care to our animals and hold the same standards we hold every day of the year. Our teams are working very, very hard around the clock to ensure that each and every one of our animals gets everything they absolutely need. SeaWorld will continue to care for rescued animals as the need arises. SeaWorld's rescue teams operate on a case-by-case -case basis with all our regulatory groups. As long as everybody says we're safe to travel, our teams will be able to be out there. So we have three teams running at the same time. So they never cross each other. So that allows us to make sure that our social distancing and the safety of our team members is always there. We have veterinarian teams that are here to ensure that our animals continue to get the same care that they were receiving a week ago. We are very proud of our zoological teams, our veterinarian teams, and everybody that's on our essential crew team that are allowing us to ensure that the safety of our animals is our number one priority. What's that, girl? You're excited about the eight on eight co-ed championship? Me too! Hi, everybody, I'm James Bates. I've got Chuck Davis here with me, and it's Hall of Fame and Beauties and the Beasts getting ready to kick it off in this eight on eight co-ed championship. Excited to get to see the women play. You guys are gonna be in for a treat here. Well, it's always a treat when you've got this guy slinging the ball around. It's Daryl Houchette. Yeah, Hoosh is dangerous. He's uh, part of the million dollar winning team. They've got the athletes around him and he's probably the best that you're gonna get at the quarterback position. Well, slinging it to Shanika Comis. There he is moving a little bit with the man in front of him. You got Pop Robinson, one of the best in the game. Watch him, he's dangerous, so dangerous. I like the gold hood there. It's a lot like Bell from Beauty and the Beast. Sneak it again. Oh! Fresh back from having a baby. Yeah, how about that? One month ago, before this game, Shanika Comis gave birth to a son, Mason. That's amazing. Congratulations. Already back, making an impact. Yeah, and not just not just out there. I mean, it'd be tough to be out at the park, let alone playing and making things happen on the field. In a championship game, too, at that. Nice defensive play here to break it up. Coming across the middle after the throw from Houchette. Watch out for the rusher, Brandel Webb. He's one of the best in the business. He's going to eventually get to Hoosh, eventually. Maybe not right off the bat while he's fresh. Complete there. Jump pass here. This one finds the turf as well incomplete. Got the rush here. Look at Brendel. Almost got him. I'm telling you, he's coming. Oh, Fred. Fred McDonald. Wow, Fred McDonald goes up. With the big defensive play, the interception in the back of the end zone. Yeah, Fred's great. He's long, rangy. <laughs> Likes to be a little vocal, but he's he's one of the best you're gonna find. He's great. Oh, uh, here's Dier Franklin. They call him Fresh. Yeah, Fresh is really good. He's the old poise quarterback. Uh, great pitch there. Ah, almost got Boa on the on the wing there. Pass to Frankie. Fresh setting him up. And Truck driver never played quarterback until his flag football days and connecting right there. Yeah, you got Cassandra with a great catch. She's she's probably the most dangerous female flag player uh, to watch out for, especially in this game. Cassandra Mills. Great catch. Fred McDonald again. He's going to be a problem this entire game. There's not as many people that are as tall as him that have played as long. It's, it's a combination of both. Flag thrown as well. Yeah, Carmouche there too. He's a slouch. Yes, yeah, <laughs> pretty good athlete. He's going up against Charles Carmouche, the hoopster in college at LSU and Memphis and University of New Orleans. Great play. Again, you're still going to notice a lot of motion. The motion is is, is dual. It's going to find out if they're in a man or in a zone, and it's going to confuse the defense. Can't impede the rusher. Oh, one hand. Oh. <laughs> Shanika Comis. Woo. How about this? The catch of the weekend. Oh, man. I don't need two hands. I, I didn't just bring the one. 
My goodness. Yeah, I, I just gave birth to make Mason Comey's about a month ago. And that, this is cake. Yeah. Wow. Dude, this is my sleep at this point. Let's go. <laughs> Pass the Carmouche. Ooh, good move. Carmouche is ranging. You're going to have to watch out for him on the deep ball. He can jump. He can run. He's really strong out of his cuts, too. Team from New Orleans trying to move it down the field against Dallas's Hall of Fame team. And Stephanie Rose with the catch there. You'll notice the unique thing in co-ed. There's got to be a girls play every three plays. So you'll notice a girl either throwing or getting a pass directly to them. That's the only way you can stay on offense. Kimbriana Lewis. With that catch. Keep an eye on Brendel. He's eventually gonna go, gonna cause some problems. He's got really good stamina. It's Carmouche one more time. You'll start to see the ball get out a little quicker as the rush starts to intensify as the game progresses. We got Darius on the throwback. Darius has the strongest arm in flag football. Fred again. <laughs> Fred again. Another big interception as Beauty and the Beast try to drive, shut down one more time by Fred McDonald. Big body going up and pulling down that ball. Yeah, Fred's a one man show right now. <laughs> You'll notice the throwbacks, they give you a second chance for the defense to have to try to reset and gain what you're doing. Uh, just it's almost like running two plays at once. Great catch. Nice job to tuck it and get up that sideline, get as much as you can, north and south. Watch the two guys rushing. They gotta make a decision on which way he's gonna go. So the ball's gonna come out quick. Oh, you said this guy in before? <laughs> yeah, offensively and defensively. It's hard for those defenders to get around that big body of Fred McDonald. Yeah, he's, he's great at positioning his body. Also, former basketball player, so he's pretty good at boxing out, as you can see. Well, his quarterback back at Mesquite High School in Mesquite, Texas, was quite the point guard in his prep day, so. Yeah, Fred's a great athlete, great athlete. Probably underrated at this point. <laughs> Done. Pass to Jarvis there. Jarvis has got great, great speed. Just a little further out of his reach there. A little bit too strong after the low snap. De'Aaron Franklin doing a good job of going down and pulling it off the grass, but nothing to show right here. A double pass, good move. Very nice. Cassandra Mills with the completion after the handoff and quick with the snap. Good crap, Frankie. Frankie Solomon with the touchdown. Great catch. Cap is his nickname, self-proclaimed, but hey, nonetheless. Nice job by Franklin to put it right there for him as he clears the center of that field. And how about the concentration to tuck it away and secure it? Great catch. Fantastic. It was a great ball, too. First points of the game, and yeah. there we go. They add to it. It's seven to nothing just like that. It's Hall of Fame on top. We're celebrating 20 years of Kraken here at SeaWorld Orlando. It's the 20th anniversary of our original Mega Lupin Coaster. <laughs> with seven inversions, you go upside down seven times, and all without a floor. So your legs dangle just above the track, and you get that cool experience of the track coming up to grab at your feet as you go through all the loops and twists and turns.
Welcome back to the 2020 Flag Football World Championships, powered by SeaWorld Orlando. We better hydrate. Over 600 teams coming to Central Florida. Trying to take home some championship hardware this weekend. Along with Chuck Davis, I'm James Bates. We've got Hall of Fame and Beauty and the Beast going right back at it. And Hall of Fame trying to add to that 7 to nothing lead. Right back to Frankie Solomon. If it's not broke, don't fix it, right? <laughs> Great catch. Notice he's using his hands. Again, regular football things translate very well to flag football. It's not that different. When you got Captain America on your team, you got to go to him time to. after time. Well, also Fred McDonald. Starting to notice the trend here, right? <laughs> Not all superheroes wear Capes. blue hats. Exactly. Some red bandanas, right? There you go. Yeah, these, these two teams are not as familiar as you'd think, but they are pretty familiar, which is pretty good for them. Dre Franklin with the rush, pretty good. Oh, uh, who's that guy? Oh, Fred McDonald. <laughs> Boy, he's tough enough when you've got a body on him, but when you leave him that open, you know he's going to do some serious damage. Yeah, he's starting to become a real issue and a matchup nightmare for the Beauty and the Beast. They're going to have to figure something out, otherwise they're going to lose this game. Tale as old as time. I know. Song as old as rhyme. <laughs> A nice quick pitch right over the middle for a touchdown. Great play, great play. As if you, if you notice in flag, you cannot impede the rush in the non-contact formats, which means you have to visibly rush in an open lane. You also have to go with that flag when you get Dre there. Franklin. Great interception by Dre Franklin. He is uh, he's also a member of that million dollar team that won a few, uh, few years ago, so he's a great athlete as well. So much of the action this weekend has been about the offense, offense, offense. We've seen some nice defensive plays in this game. Yeah, defense is going to still win you championships. It's obviously not as exciting, but it's got to get the job done. Oh, is that TJ? TJ Glover, great catch. Oh, on the roll, Daryl Houchette finds TJ Glover. That's a great play. Rolling out to the right, throwing it back semi-left, straight down the sideline. A little bit of a hole, still. Got the play. Great catch. Excellent work by our camera crew to catch that, and good job by Glover to run through it. Great catch. Great call, too, by the refs. Yep. They don't have the luxury of instant replay, so for them it's a little tougher. They got to get it right the first time. There he is. There he is, Brandell. He's a problem. The Cookie Monster with a nice sack. Notice his technique, he's not going all out. You can't get Hoosh to just sprint one way. It's gonna be hard to stop. Oh, good deflection. Jarvis, Jarvis Mayweather, great deflection. Mirror technique by Jarvis getting those hands up and batting the ball down and almost intercepted. Yes, you can almost cheat on defense knowing that a girl play is imminent. If you go first down, no girl play, you've only got two ah. more shots, it's one or the other. Darius nice Davis play. with the catch. They call him the logo. He's usually putting people on posters. That's why oh. they call him the logo. Oh, I like it. Well, you know what? It was an excellent play defensively to grab that flag. It was one guy that was going to stop him and a whole lot of grass. Yes. yes. Darius can jump. He can run. And probably his biggest asset is he can just throw. Uh, arms so strong. And there's a strong arm one more time, and not just the strength, but the precision from Houchette. Touchdown! Wow. Beauty's in the beast, and it was a beauty. Look at that. TJ Glover again, tightrope in the sidewalk. Great, great catch, great concentration, good awareness. Great spatial awareness by his, by his feet, body control. That's great football. Wow, Daryl Houchette loves to roll right and throw it on the fly. This time he'll run right. Tries to pitch it and force it into the end zone for the extra point. Looking for Shanika Comis. I would look for Nathan, their, their coach of Hall of Fame, that's at some point making adjustments. Start rushing who's from the right side. Mako is SeaWorld Orlando's tallest, fastest, and longest roller coaster.
200 feet tall, 73 miles an hour, and nearly a mile long. And what's really exciting about this ride is the amount of airtime. You get lifted off of your seat with that weightlessness feeling over every single airtime hill on the ride. And we're back at the 2020 Flag Football World Championships. Brought to you by SeaWorld Orlando. And by Wilson Football, the perfect backyard football. All right, we told you there were a lot of folks here. Over 600 teams have come to Central Florida trying to Take home a championship. Will this one go back to Dallas or New Orleans? We're about to find out here in the second half. And look at Fred McDonald go. Yeah, he's back. <laughs> Didn't miss a step from the break. He's he's still here. I think he's hungry for a championship. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think he ever left. Ah, nah, makes sense. <laughs> fresh to Fred. Fresh to Fred. We need a pair. Ah, oh, fresh to Fred. <laughs> Over I think we've seen over. this a couple times at this point. Well, you said it earlier, Chuck. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Don't fix it. But you would think the Beauty and the Beast would try to fix this problem at this point. Well, if they want to win it, they've got to find a way. Oh, gee. I wonder who caught that pass. Just like, <laughs> yes or not? Or, I don't know. It's getting repetitive. Yeah, it's, well, Beauty and the Beast, lucky that the girl rule comes in. you got to go to the female... Every third play, this one goes incomplete. Let's watch out for Fred wearing a wig here at some point. <laughs> incomplete pass here. Throwing into the middle in the red zone is tough, regular flag or otherwise. Yes, gets a little more crowded. On the fly is fresh. Good tip. Great tip. Some of these players may be a little uh, fatigued. There are. 600 plus teams, 10,000 athletes. It's a lot of playing, three days of athletes. Well, and a lot of them play for multiple teams, don't Correct. they? Correct, multiple formats. Now, here's Hoosh, here's he going. You gotta go. Wow. You cannot let him eat up three first downs worth of field in, in, in a quarterback seat. This game's gonna turn around really quickly if you allow him to do that a couple more times. Absolutely, we've seen him do damage through the air and this time with his feet on the ground in a big way. Gets across midfield, fresh set of downs. And here's our girl Shanika Cole-Meese. There you go, great catch. Going through the middle, all hands. 
There you go. Hey, look, it's Mason's mom with the big catch taking him down <laughs> near the goal line. Show this to her kids in a few years, right? Great catch. Great catch, Stefan. Look at you go. Nephew is his, is his name, is what they call him. <laughs> Still got Hoosh. Should have a girl play coming here soon. Oh, Nick again. Great tip by Jarvis. They go after Camise, looking for her in the corner of that end zone. Jarvis with the New Mexico Lobo football pants on, knocking it down. Throwback. Sneak and throw, too. Good catch. Good throw. And almost, Comis. Almost. Out of Tampa, can connect. Jarvis Foster's great defense. He's playing great defense today, right? Absolutely. All day long. One more try at it here. Trailing by 10. It's 16 to 6. Hall of Fame. Got wow. the ball. Cookie Monster gets back there and knocks that ball down. That call, oh, there's a flag. This call is huge. This could be ball game or not. This could be for all the apples. We'll talk it over. We'll take one more look at it. Now, like a punter in football or even blocking a shot in basketball, you got to get all ball, right? It's got to be all ball. Incidental contact, post ball being tip, okay. But you can't do it to prevent the ball from coming out. So this could be the game either way. Let's, let's see what the call is. It looked fairly clean there. And they'll wave it off. There you go, ball and game. Hall of Fame, congratulations. Ball game. The eight on eight co-ed world champions here in Orlando in 2020. Great game, great game. Two of the best, whole planet. Either way, that's great. Congratulations to Hall of Fame from Dallas, Texas for winning the eight on eight co-ed pro division. We've got your trophy, we've got your check. <laughs> Well, the whole team's looking fresh, but funky, funky, fresh right here. The quarterback, extra fresh right now. Congratulations. How you feel? Thank you. I feel good. We feel good. We feel like we're the best eight on eight co-ed team in the world. We had to come out here and prove it. We had to show it. Anywhere you go, you, you hear the rivalries, uh, you know, high school on up. Florida's got the best football. Ohio, Texas, you guys right now, you're champions. You came to the Sunshine State and put a stamp on it. Exactly. We want to show everybody we're the best in the world. We're doing it in fives every year, but in eights, we always come out here and lay in the head, but this year we want to prove to everybody we're the best, and now we show it. All right, congratulations. Enjoy it. 19 months strong. We ain't lost in 19 months. We're going to keep going. 19 months. Let's go. 19 months. What is that, Chuck? About five years? I don't know. <laughs> Do the math. Thanks for joining us today. We sure enjoyed having you. Enjoyed all the championship action. We'll see you next time. See you guys.